What is up everyone? This is Fox Winter. 2020 is finally over and nobody really knows what's coming in the next year except in music. Since I already did a video about the five best albums of 2020, I thought it would make sense to make a most expected list. Because it's always fun to look back at the end of the year, see what you were looking forward to in that moment and which ones you might have missed. The current lists, at least those with actual release dates, only reach until April. But even in that time, we get new releases from Michael Schenker Group, Rick Wakeman, Black Sabbath, Rob Zombie, Search Tankian of System of a Down, Moonspill, Greta Van Fleet, Primal Fear, Edenbridge, Metallica, Sirenia, While She Sleeps, Slipknot, Corpiclani, and Ghost. <laughs> so I can obviously not cover everything, so I picked my this is of course pretty biased by my own listening habits, so if you think I missed something super important or there's maybe a band that didn't even make it on the official list yet but that certainly deserves more attention, tell me in the comments. So let's go. Number one is Power Wolf. I'm admittedly cheating a bit with this one because there's no release date yet, but even before Covid hit, Matthew Greywolf, the lead guitarist of Power Wolf, skipped the South America tour they were on to work on the new album. And their typical cycle is two years, so if everything goes well, we might actually get an album before summer. I absolutely loved the two last albums, Blessed and Possessed and The Sacrament of Sin. Plus, we got a really cool look at what Power Wolf might be up to with the revamp of Kiss of the Cobra King. I'm super excited to see Power Wolf go even more into this orchestral symphonic style they've been going for for a while, really. Number two, Epic has Omega. If you ask me, that's gonna be a banger anyway, no matter what other songs are on it. Seeing as Abyss of Time and The Wolves Inside already gave a pretty good look at what's to come. After the holographic principle and the solar system, Epica has gone in a far more metaphysical, philosophical direction than their previous albums. So I'm really curious, not only about the music, but also about the contents of the album itself and the questions they might ask. The release date is set for the 26th of February. And until then, I do assume there will be one more song. So I'm hyped. Number three, Therion Leviathan. Another point for the Symphonic Metal faction, assuming you want the hardcore fans yelling at you. Therion have played a major role in establishing the genre of Symphonic Metal, but looking at it in detail, they never stuck to one defined subset of techniques or a genre. Their compositions are typically really complex, most of them very long, and steeped in history and often occult symbolism. As the title implies, Leviathan will likely be about history, mythology, and perhaps also our approach to these stories. The currently released tracks Leviathan and Die Welle in der Zeit were a lot calmer and more ethereal than I was used to from Therion, but they were also pretty short, so there's most likely a lot more to come. And it's not gonna take a lot longer because the release date is on the 22nd of January. By the time this video comes out, it's gonna be, what, two weeks? Number four, Dream Theater. Once again, no title given yet. And I wasn't really sure how to present this band in the first place. Dream Theater are veterans of prog metal. And the best description I can give for their music is, holy shit. I mean, I guess there's a certain draw to showing off your guitar god. On a more serious note, the last album, Distance of a Time, came out in 2019. Though the reception from fans and professional critics was pretty mixed, actually. Songs like Untethered Angel and Outer Reach did make it quite far and managed to reach people that didn't know them that well before. There's no release date yet, as I said, but according to John Petrucci, they're aiming for late 2021. And number five, The Bitter Truth by Evanescence. To be fair, this is mostly for sentimental and nostalgic reasons, because Evanescence is one of the bands that brought me to rock and metal, and after I checked out their songs made during quarantine, I'm riding on a wave of nostalgia, and I'm really curious what the new album will sound like. Judging from the title, it will likely be a pretty dark, melancholic album, a lot about the reflections we had this year. 
And I think Amy Lee's voice is absolutely perfect for this topic. The release date is March 26th. And who knows what's gonna happen until then. Last but not least, one more honorary mention. Alyssa Whitegloss. As a vocalist for Arch Enemy, she's pretty much the go-to example for Hey, women can growl as well, which is cool. And it's something that many beginner listeners don't realize. But she can do a lot more than just growl. And to paraphrase her own words, a solo album is the outlet she chose for the vocal acrobatics she just doesn't get to do with Arch Enemy. And that alone makes the project super, super interesting because it's gonna be something entirely new from an already established vocalist. There's no release date yet, but she's positive 2021 is realistic. As I said, this is only a tiny fraction of what's going on. 2020 has been a very difficult year for everyone, especially those in the entertainment industry that rely on people being able to gather in crowds. But on the positive side, we are getting so much music out of it. I think that's a nice conclusion we can take into 2021, that no matter how bad it gets, our culture will always be making art, be making music. It, it's what we are. So what is your most expected album of 2021? And what are your hopes for the year? If you like this video, leave me a metal hand down the like button. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye and keep rocking.